We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. What a view to wake up to. The sun has come out to say goodbye to us today because today we're jumping on a plane and heading south. Yay! It's gonna be warmer, it's gonna be cheaper. I'm excited to get back to the airport and get on the next plane. Okay, we're all checked out. Now we've got to go and find the train station. I've enjoyed New York City. It's been very cold. And look, you've got the policeman directing the traffic. There's an image you see, typical of New York. And big trucks. Big trucks. Everything in New York is way bigger. There you go, it's the Long Island Railroad that takes us to Jamaica Street. When we arrived at this station, we came out a different exit and ended up walking miles. And then we just got to figure out where to get the ticket from. Okay, I left Marianne with the bags. So I'm just going to quickly run up to get the tickets upstairs. All right, $5, $10. $10, okay, perfect. Ta-da! Okay, we've made it onto the train. The next leg of the adventure is going to continue. The good thing is everything is really well laid out. You can, everything is good in direction. And of course, everybody speaks the same language. Well, almost. Yeah, the uh, the hotel was all great. When we went to check out, there was a bit of a uh, not a, a bit of a culture shock, I suppose, with all the taxes and everything on the bill. You know, just be aware that they had lots of lots and lots of taxes and a facilities fee, um, where you think you're getting free internet, but you're not, because you've got to pay a facilities fee that gives you access to the gym, the Wi-Fi. And, and the business center, even if you don't use it. There you go. So yeah, that was a that was a bit of a $35, what is that for moment. Um, but the train today to Jamaica takes about 25 minutes, uh, and then we need to swap to, to get to the airport. So you're just going to Jamaica, right? Yeah. You're going to JFK. Yeah. Turn this yeah. So, um, you get off the train, you climb down, yeah. walk across the tracks. Okay. Climb up the ladder. Okay. It sounds good. Is that too much? That sounds like a great adventure. Have you seen the size of that rucksack I've got to carry? You've got to get the backpack. That'll work out perfect. You know what I'm saying? Your hands are free. Okay. 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 Right. The easy way, then. You get out of the platform, follow the yellow signs. Okay. Up the escalator. Uh -huh. Across the bridge. Uh -huh. Follow the signs for the air train and go right in. Marianne always gets excited about the small things, but look, they've got little coat hooks here and electric sockets. Okay, we've arrived at Jamaica and now we need to go and get the air train. I don't think you can miss all these bright yellow signs. How you doing, Marianne, with the bags? You're Hello. a rock star. Thank you. I'm sorry I it. can't help. No, I won't let you. I won't let you. Okay, so let's try. The easiest way to do it is to get a $1 new Metro card and then put $16 top up on it. And we both use the one card. That's the most economical way to do it. Okay. But there's always somebody dressed in red who will help you. Yeah. This is a Jamaica train stopping at airline terminal 2, 4, 5, 8. It's either terminal 2 or 4 for Delta Airlines. That's because we're complete professionals. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to try and uh, print our boarding cards. Doesn't work. Hey, we finally figured it out. This lovely lady helped us. Thank you so much. Hi, Pfizer. <laughs> uh, Charleston. Charleston. Marianne and Chris are That's me. me. And Tim. Okay, everything all sorted. Coffee time. Okay, so we're having our first Mackey D's here in the States. I think Marianne's burger looks bigger than mine. Mine is definitely bigger than yours. We should swap. We should swap. <laughs> I was only joking. So yeah, we got we got like uh, two and a half hours till the flight. So we're just gonna chill, 
and uh, watch the world go by. We would like to say a huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. It stands for Virtual Private Network. It basically creates an encrypted tunnel, keeping you and your data safe whilst you're surfing online. We all use public Wi-Fi at times, whether it's on the train, in hotels, or like we have been recently, at airports and in cafes. And by using Surfshark, we know that we have our own online security guard keeping us safe. But there's more to Surfshark than just online security. By changing your virtual location, you can unlock content that wouldn't normally be available to you. And it also allows you to get the best online prices because price discrimination based on location is a thing. What's more, Surfshark is the only VPN company that allows use on an unlimited number of devices, which keeps you and your whole family safe. And we're pleased to tell you that the kind people at Surfshark have offered Tread the Globe followers, that's you, a massive 83% discount plus three months free. To get started, click the link in the description below and use the code TREADTHEGLOBE. Back to the show. After walking so much around Manhattan, I am very happy for these little walkways because <laughs> I got blisters on my feet. Over 26,000 steps every day, four days. We made it on the plane. Much smaller little domestic flight. It's like being back in Trudy. <laughs> it is very cosy. Latest weather, 75 degrees, clear skies. Thanks for joining us for Welcome Board. Welcome to Charleston. Delta, it was lovely. Really good. Tiny plane. And only an hour and 40 minutes flight. Okay, so we jumped in a cab. It's about four miles away. All good. And Mariana Chris, Chris. Yeah, yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah, nice Thank you, my you. friend. Have a good day. Thank you. Right. Yeah, we've arrived at the Candlewood Suites. Hi. Wow. This is actually going to be home for the next couple of weeks while we wait for Trudy. So we're just going to give you a quick guided tour before we completely mess it up. Oh, Marianne's starting in the bathroom. I'm starting with the um, oh, oh, you got shower gel, conditioner, yeah. shampoo. It smells good. Oh, lovely. We've got a shower, toilet. We've got a little stove top, coffee machine, microwave, even got a dishwasher, sink for washing up, fridge freezer here. It's like being at home, isn't it? It's bigger than home. <laughs> and if anybody wants to come and stay, this walk-in closet is <laughs> It's literally almost the same size as... Trudy. Trudy. And then we've got a desk here for editing and working, cable TV, queen-size bed, <laughs> and a view of the sunset just going over there. This is good. Are you happy? I'm delighted. And it's so much cheaper than staying right in the heart of the city. We're probably about half an hour's drive, 40 minutes drive from the city centre. It's massive. Good job. So because our room has got a kitchen, we thought we would have a little venture out and uh, go to the supermarket. Apparently. <laughs> it is. Apparently there's a Walmart uh, just behind uh, or five, ten minutes walk. It's lovely and warm compared to New York. We've got t-shirts on. So yeah, I'm excited to go and have a little look around the neighborhood and see what's about. Marianne's found a very smooth tree. It's like the bark's been taken off. So apparently just through this street, we should hit the main road. What do you reckon, love? We're in the back of North Charleston. North Charleston. There you go. North Charleston in South Carolina. Oh, there's a beauty salon. 
a beauty salon. I might need that. <laughs> Something you don't see back home is uh, all the post boxes down the side of the road with the little flag that they lift up if they get post. Okay, we've arrived at the main road. Let's have a look. Holy moly. How many lanes of traffic? There's four each side. Walmart apparently is over in that direction, but looking at this street, I don't think I'm going to try and cross here. I'm going to head down to the traffic lights. You fancy running across the road? <laughs> no, because that's called jaywalking and that is no, no, no. Is jaywalking illegal in the States? I'm not sure. Let me know if it's illegal to run across this road. I think you'd have to be completely insane to be fair. And very fast. And very, very fast because it's massive. I can't believe Trudy's going to look a bit small on these roads. There is literally five lanes of traffic here. But I don't think we can't cross here. We're going to have to cross and then cross. Even the side road's big. OK, I think this is the cross button. Oh, it's got white. There you go, Marianne. <laughs> Beats to the right. Four seconds is counting down. <laughs> There's another one. We made it to the middle. One, oh, it's two, gone white. Three, it's four. gone white. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six lanes. And this last lane can turn if there's nobody walking across the road. So she's going to drive now. I've been checking the rules of driving in the US and you can turn right. There you go. So she's turning right. So we just crossed it over to Walmart and we spotted a car wash. So uh, we're just going to go and ask them how much it would cost to... to <laughs> we're just going to... We're just going to ask them how much it is to wash Trudy because she'll be a bit salted after the ship and it's never good having the salt on your van especially after all that work on rust we did when we were back home. So here you go, cactus car wash. Trudy will not be getting a power wash there. It's a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. That's got, like I've got chest pain. 80 pounds. Is that like 80 pounds? Welcome to Walmart. Walmart. This is our first US Walmart. Woo Walmart. A lot of people, you know, when you say you're coming to the States in a van, they talk about Walmart and that it's a famous place for RVs and camper vans to stay over but not every Walmart lets you. This one, there's a sign there saying no overnight parking. So this one you can't. But we have heard that if you ask the manager if it would be okay to stop for one night or one evening and a night and leave in the morning, they will say yes. So there is a big RV motorhome over there. So I'm hoping- I wonder whether he's sleeping the night, maybe. Anyway, we're going to go and do a little bit of a food shop. Now this shop, this store is so big. There's an entrance for groceries and an entrance for home and pharmacy. No, nope, I'm still shocked. A hundred dollars. $100. I knew America was expensive, but not that expensive. I'm not convinced that's the right price. Maybe he thought it was 200 foot long. <laughs> I genuinely can't believe how big this store is. That's looking across the store. It's big. Then looking lengthways at the store, it goes all the way down there and it actually goes round the corner too. Okay, shopping's all done. We have supplies. And we are loaded up. Beautiful weather. I can't believe how warm it is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> ah. Okay, that is all the shopping put away. You're gonna wanna check us out on the next episode where we pick Trudy, our van up, and officially mark the start of our American van life adventures. If you've been missing our van life adventures, check out this video, one of our favorites, where we head up to a tea plantation in Turkey on a bit of a dodgy road. See you next time. <laughs>